Last time we were looking at axonometric plans using the cutaway and we've created multiple cuts here. So we've got a lower ground floor, upper ground floor, first floor and roof. And so now I want to show you how to piece them all together. We save this just like anything else as a saved view. So I put this in a separate folder. Again, they're just the same views, but they're in our view map. And the point of this is that we can now drop them into our layout book. I'll show you one that I've already created, then I'll recreate it. What we're trying to do is just have all of them in place. Now, if we select them all, let's delete that now, and I'll delete these red lines, and drag and drop them all in. They won't be placed in the same position. They're all over the place, which may, means manage them, managing them becomes hard. Rather than doing this, the way that I prefer to work would be to drop in the first one. So we'll start with the lower ground floor. Now because we're combining these together, I don't want to see them, I don't want to have them with a title block. So I'm going to turn the title block off. I'll shrink the view extent to whatever I want to see and I'm going to drop that down the bottom. Now rather than just importing, dragging and dropping in the next one, I'm just going to select this one, move, drag a copy and I'm going to replace it or link it to link drawing to the next one up. So down the bottom of my list I now want my upper ground floor. Let's do the same move, drag a copy, Let's just bring this down a bit so it's in the middle of the view. I'm holding shift just to keep it centered. Let's do the same thing again. Link drawing two, first floor, and now finally one more time. Link drawing to roof. Now these are very far spread apart and that's okay. We, we wouldn't necessarily need them to be this spread. What we're seeing is all of the different layers, all of the different stories, all the bits that we, we cut apart and these will line up. So let's just put some lines on here just so you can see that I'm not lying. So we can see that this connects here now it connects to this column here, but I'm going to stop it there so it just looks a bit more clean. Again, we can see it connects to the column, but I'll stop it on the outside. So we're creating line work in our layout book, which is usually a no-no, but this is the best way to create something like this. And even this one all the way at the back. Similarly, this lines up with our next one. This one's a little bit harder to see. And the position of this one is going to be slightly different because it's a it's a lightweight wall landing on a solid masonry wall. So it doesn't quite line up in the same position as we see it. Let's finish this off. Right, so there we have it. We can see all of these elements still relate. These are exploded. Now we don't need them to be as long like I was explaining. So what we could do is to stretch these down. Now to do that we can use the stretch tool. So to use the stretch tool I'm going to put a, a marquee around this view. Edit reshape stretch. 
And the reason why I did that was just to show you that we can therefore stretch the red line so we don't have to redraw them. And we can overlay so we can see that the outline of this floor is overlaying the dark gray of the terrain below. So it does create that nice segmented look. Let's do the same thing here. There we go. So that's our exploded axonometric. Now I'm going to do another one of these later where we're going to create this in a different way. This was created by creating cuts. So we didn't play with the model. If we go back to the model, and we were to turn off all of our cuts. This is a 3D plan. Let's just go back to the standard 3D. If I turn off all my cuts, view elements in 3D, 3D cutaway, we see that the model is still there. Uh, the next one that we're going to look at will actually be created by creating extra spaces between stories. So we won't use the 3D cutting method, we'll use a different method to create a different effect. But that's effectively what we're doing. We're just creating a visualization or a presentation technique in order to represent plans in a different sort of a way.